Hello, uh, this is Shelley Terrell. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and let us know where you are and what you're doing? Okay, well, um, I'm Shelley. Um, nice to be here. And I'm currently in Athens, but um, I've been living in Germany for the last three years. And what I do, the reason I do this is because I'm an English language teacher, but I'm also, um, I'm, I'm also the vice president of educator outreach for Parentella and a social media consultant. <laughs> so I've been interested in your work on personal learning networks. It seems to be something that, that, that you're enthusiastic about. Can you tell us, first of all, let's start with what is a personal learning network? Okay, well, um, there's many things you can call a personal learning network. Uh, first of all, I usually redefine it a little bit. I like to call it my passionate learning network. And the reason for this is because uh, a learning network, and it doesn't have to be educators, mine um, consists of mainly educators, but it, it consists of all the people that uh, you choose when you're online uh, to connect with and learn from. This can be either through blogs or through Twitter, Facebook, um, anywhere where you can interact, you can get information. Um, and, and the best thing is you get to choose how um, you want that information. If you want it through videos, webinars, uh, maybe you know you, you just like podcasts, um, or you want to be in forums, you want to respond and then they respond back to you. But that's basically what it is. It's a community where you participate and others participate and the learning happens together. So if you're, if you're going to make that explanation to students, what, what would you tell them in, in terms of, of, of whether, what is this thing that, that you're asking them to create? Okay, well, um, I like to do a little uh, activity where I ask students to look at the person next to them and um, to ask the people next to them, um, their classmates, a question. Okay, so think of one question, any question. It could be, uh, where is the Taj Mahal? Okay. Um, and when they ask the person next to them, which is their friend, and they learn from them throughout the year, and they're next to them usually because they're sitting in desks next to each other, um, they find that sometimes their question is an answer. So then I usually ask the same student, okay, so imagine um, asking the entire class. Let's see who knows where the Taj Mahal is. Um, usually someone will have an answer. And if they don't, well, then that's where I say, okay, well, there are two things you can do. You, you know, you could go to Google and you can search and you can get um, a, a million hits on the Taj Mahal. Or you can ask somebody that you have previously connected with um, online and they can tell you right away, you know, your answer is just like that. Um, but there are other more difficult questions or... Um, let's say, for example, a student wants to be an engineer. Um, instead of reading about being an engineer, uh, instead of reading about uh, biographies and things like that, they can actually ask questions from an engineer. Um, and the engineer will be able to give them expert advice or experience um, when doing a project and things like that. So um, imagine that you are... Uh a teacher and you want to introduce personal learning networks into your classroom and you need to explain to your principal why is this now important um, it's not a term that that traditionally you've heard applied to the to the, the curriculum and there's only so many hours in the school day why is it important to get students involved with building a personal or, or passionate learning networks um, I like to usually show. I think showing is, is, is a much better way of uh, approaching things. Um, so usually I tend to do this by Skype. Um, I'll ask somebody on my uh, personal learning network. I'll say, okay, well, and, and show some evidence. Uh, for example, I do projects with, um, with students, and, and this very much actually describes my situation and my director. Um, in the beginning, my director didn't know what personal learning networks were, passionate learning networks. Um, so I, I knew they weren't going to go for the wording and, you know, the, what we call these things. So what I did was 
I actually, um, I showed this project I did with the class in, in Turkey, okay? And um, I, ex I first showed the project. Um, it was four-year-olds um, learning how to speak English, and they were learning with four-year-olds in Turkey. So I showed them this voice thread project where they're telling stories, they have their drawings. Um, and then, you know, they see the production, what can happen, the possibilities. And then once they're, sh uh, you know, you show the possibilities, then you get them excited about it, you know. And so then comes the how did this happen? And then, you know, I say, okay, well, the way that it happened is because um, I'm able to connect with other educators uh, through different places um, like Twitter or social media as Facebook and uh, just different forums, blogs. Um, and I say, well, why don't we talk to one of these educators and they'll explain to you how we have been working throughout the year in the classroom to get the students like this. And, and once they see the technology their minds are blown. Well, at least that's been my experience. And my director was blown away. And now he he even has um, our city in uh, Germany. Um, he's asking all the schools to come and for us to show him how to connect. So. Okay, great. Congratulations. Uh, <laughs> so you've you've convinced your your director, and you're introducing this. What do you tell students? And if any different, what do you tell teachers about how do you go about building your, your own personal network? Um, I ask them to pick one tool first. Um, usually, you know, blogs. Um, uh, quickly introduce them to blogs, um, and show how to participate. Usually we start first in by commenting. And then um, I, I usually tell a person ahead of time whatever the subject matter is. So for me, it's English language teaching. I'll ask one of my friends who does the English language teaching job, uh, blog, and I'll say, okay, well, we're going to comment on your blog. This is an interesting topic for the educators. And then they'll, they'll see how that, that interaction occurs, how there's like a, a response, and then how the conversation evolves from there. And then I ask them to, after they get comfortable with this, um, to begin looking at other tools. Now, just like our students, we all advance at different levels. Uh, some of us, you know, some teachers the next day, they're going to be on Twitter, they're going to be on Facebook. And I actually have a wiki set up that gives a step-by-step -step process for each of these. Uh, you know, there's six steps so that way you can get on Twitter easily. There's, you know, six steps so you can find educators on Facebook. There's six steps so you can, so that way whatever tool they're most comfortable with and they choose, they will know how, who the people are to connect with um, in their field specifically. How do you grow it? So once you've, once you've connected, do you, you continue to add to it? Yes. Um, th that's, that would be my advice is that part of the network is that um, it's a community and the way you build community is you have to participate um, just as others bring their knowledge to the table you bring your knowledge and experience and and one thing that I do find from educators is sometimes they don't believe that their ideas are are uh, worthy but they are there's always somebody um, whether it be a new teacher or it be a teacher in another part of the world who has not heard what they have accomplished in their classroom before. Uh, there's always a different perspective. And as long as we keep sharing, uh, we don't have to uh, come up with the most novel idea or but something we're passionate about. Every teacher does something that they're really great at. Maybe they do an assignment that's really great. Maybe they do discovery learning that's really great. Maybe they work with special education students and they're really great at it. Um, if they share these experiences, then they really get to experience the personal learning network because then they see when people say, thank you, this really helped me, this is how I applied it in my classroom, or this is how um, my students were enriched by it. So, it sounds to me like your network is, is global. 
and that you do a fair yes. amount of connecting teachers and students uh, globally. So uh, any advice on why and how to do that? Um, yes. Um, personal learning networks um, are about a conversation. Uh, Stephen Hargaden said this in a recent webinar I attended of his, and, and he, he's very right. It's an open conversation. And as long as you're contributing and you're listening, then it can continue this conversation. And um, so if you're constantly talking uh, to people, if you select some and you say, wow, um, this, is, this really helped me, or I really want to connect with people and, uh, you know, I, I really want to connect with you. You're in another part of the world. I want my students to learn about the culture. I want them to be able to know intercultural uh, communication. Um, can you help me with this? It's basically asking for help. Just what we ask our students to do every day is, is to open the conversation, be willing to listen, be willing to let it take you where it's going to take you because often it takes you in a complete different place than you originally imagined. And that's what my advice would be. Just be very open and, and continue to keep participating in this conversation. How do, how do you find uh, teachers and classrooms in other parts of the world that to connect connect with I find the easiest uh, the easiest forum that I find is Twitter because um, as soon as you get on Twitter as soon as you meet somebody um, who has more followers um, you can ask them you I have had many people with uh, who come on and they're new and they say okay well I want I'm really interested in this how do I connect and so I say okay well just tell me what you want to do I'll tweet this and of course, you know, all my followers will see this and then they'll connect with others. Um, and, and this is how you begin. You just start looking and searching. There are, are many different, um, if, even if you do a Google search on Twitter for educators, uh, you'll immediately come across a, a wiki. And this wiki has Twitters, uh, educators that are Twitterers. And, and it also has it divided by subject level. So you can find uh, math teachers, or you can find even principals, administrators. So you can find those that are in your field.